Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. This is R. Sriram. The second wave of Northern Lights this week is forecast for Alberta and almost all of Canada. For the second time in a week, unsettled space weather could lead to a dazzling display of aurora in the sky over Alberta as long as weather closer to the ground doesn't get in the way. A severe G4 geomagnetic storm was reported around the planet on Thursday, caused by the latest in several coronal mass ejections from the Sun in the last few months. Storms resulting from these streams of solar particles cause disturbances in the Earth's geomagnetic field, potentially affecting such technology as satellite communication, global positioning systems, certain types of radio transmissions and power grids, said the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center in a statement issued on Thursday evening. Visible side effects of solar storms can be seen as northern lights which can be detected further south than usual when such storms are intense. A forecast issued by the Space Weather Prediction Center on Thursday showed a very high likelihood of aurora being seen in all of Alberta and almost all of Canada. However, hopes of viewing northern lights were dashed by local weather, with the Environment Canada forecasted for Calgary showing potentially partly cloudy conditions on Thursday evening into Friday morning. Similar cloud cover was forecast for many parts of Alberta. Should aurora borealis be visible on Thursday night, it would come on the heels of an intense display of northern lights that occurred on Monday night into Tuesday morning. So strong that its vivid colors could be seen with the naked eye from within many parts of the light polluted urban centers. Similarly, impressive views were reported across the province. Space weather forecasters did not expect the latest solar storm to surpass the one that slammed Earth in May, the strongest in more than two decades. The storm may also trigger northern lights as far south in the U.S. as the lower Midwest and Northern California, though exact locations and times are uncertain according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Sky gazers are reminded to point their smartphones upward for photos as the devices often can capture auroras that human eyes cannot. May's solar system produced breathtaking aurora in Calgary and across the Northern Hemisphere and resulted in no major technological disruptions. That's all for now. For more weather news updates, stay tuned with us on It's Tomorrow News. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you.